Hi everyone, so today's lecture video is on section 2.3 and we're going to focus on adding, subtracting, and multiplying polynomials. So I have two polynomial equations, 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x minus 9 and I have 3x um, cubed plus 6x squared plus 11. Now, when you look at this equation, um, I left a space here, and that's because I don't have any term in my second polynomial that has just an x variable. I, there's nothing there. I have an x cubed, I have an x squared, I have a constant term, which is 11, but I don't have just an x, so I'm going to leave that space blank. You can also fill it in with a zero if you wanted to, just to help you arrange those terms. Because what we're going to do is add these two polynomials in a vertical format. Now this is as simple as combining like terms when you're viewing your function. So negative 9 and positive 11 is the same as 2. 3x and 0 is 3x. Negative 5x squared and positive 6x squared is x squared. And 2x cubed plus x cubed is actually 3x cubed. So 3x cubed plus x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay? So this is my sum, the sum of two polynomial functions that I just went ahead and added together um, just like that. The next thing I'm going to do is One more, one more example for adding. This asks me to do it in a horizontal format. This is completely up to you which method you want to use. Um, again, I could just say 3y cubed minus 2y squared minus 7y and negative 4y squared plus 2y minus 5. Um, and I'm just going to go through and combine. So I have a 3y cubed, but there's no other cubed terms, so I'm just going to say 3y cubed. I have a negative 2y squared and a negative 4y squared, so that's going to turn into a negative 6y squared. And then I have a negative 7y and a positive 2y, which will turn into a negative 5y. And lastly, just that negative 5 as a constant. So I've added, I've combined all my like terms, and I have the sum of my two polynomial equations. Next up, we're going to do some subtraction. This is a little different, but we're still going to kind of use the same methods here. Um, it does say vertical format, so 5x squared plus 3x plus 1 minus 2 x cubed plus 4x squared plus 5x plus 8. And I'm just going to shift this first function. Whoops, if I could. Um, I would like to shift that top function over a little so that I have my terms lined up nicely, the terms that correspond, right? Um, however, I can't edit that right now at the moment, but I do need to rewrite this because there is another issue with subtraction. Um, you can go ahead and subtract just like you would normally subtract terms, or what I like to do is I like to rewrite my function so that all my terms are the opposite sign. So instead of a positive 2x cubed, I write a negative 2x cubed. Instead of positive 4x, I write a negative 4x squared. Instead of that positive 5x, I write minus 5x. And then instead of positive 8, I write minus 8. And then I like to just think of it as addition. To me, it makes it simpler. I like to just combine the terms the way that I'm most familiar to. So negative 2x cubed, 5x squared, and negative 4x squared 
is just 1x squared. Positive 3x and negative 5x is negative 2x. And 1 and negative 8 is negative 7. So that would be the same as 5x squared plus 3x plus 1 minus 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 5x plus 8. We'll do one more for you. In terms of subtractions, to subtract 5z squared minus z plus 3 from 4z squared plus 9z minus 12. So 4z squared plus 9z minus 12. Subtract 5z squared minus z plus 3. Again, I'm going to change this to addition, so I'm going to change my signs throughout. And then combine. Positive 4 and negative 5 is negative 1z squared. Positive 9 and positive 1 is 10z. Negative 12 and negative 3 is negative 15. So that is my solution. Multiplication. This is the last um, example that we're going to do. I'm actually going to... Oops. I want to do the example that is actually on your worksheet, which I believe is a little different. So let me just grab that for you. It is negative 2y squared plus 3y minus 6, and that's going to be times y minus 2. Now, when I'm multiplying polynomials, I just have to multiply by each term independently and then add. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply by my y. So y times negative 2y squared plus 3y minus 6. I distribute all the way through when I multiply by y like that. So negative 2y squared times y is negative 2y cubed plus 3y squared minus 6y. Then I'm going to multiply by my negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2y squared plus 3y minus 6. is going to be 4y squared plus 6, sorry, minus 6y plus 12. And then I need to combine those two equations that I found using addition. So negative 2y cubed plus 3y squared minus 6y plus 4y squared minus 6y and then plus 12, right, is going to be negative 2y cubed plus 7y squared minus 12y plus 12. And that's my solution for multiplying two polynomials. Before we finish up today, um, I am going to have you look at a certain website for your homework quiz. What I want you to do is go to that link and follow the instructions. Just answer five questions. You can do those right on your note sheet. Any five, you can click through and take your pick. Um, however, I am going to check those when you get to class on Monday.